have been able to make a career of turning weaknesses into ridiculous strengths against all the doubters, against all the haters, against everyone who says this man should not be in the NBA. <laughs> How have you lived your life turning weaknesses into strengths? Well, it starts with believing in yourself. Having that confidence within allows you to go out there and do the inevitables. And uh, the things that I'd always carry in my mind is that, you know, anything that you believe, regardless if you feel like you're ordinary, that you can become extraordinary. And that's the uh, mindset that I always, you know, try to provide in, in regards to whatever, just the game of basketball of something to just trying to beat life. And uh, so, you know, that's where it all starts. It's, it's cool to say, like, you got to believe in yourself. And, and I totally understand that. But there's like, believe in yourself. And then there's like, no one else has ever done this before. Everybody is going to tell you it can't happen. Like, how do you not allow that to seep in and erode that confidence? I knew early on at an early age that they didn't have an impact or in control of my life. And thankful that I had that understanding uh, because it could have been effective in terms of my growth and my pursuit and trying to the dreams that I was, you know, carrying around in my head. If I would allow those individuals to to take over that in my mind, then I wouldn't be here talking to you today. So that's <laughs> why I go back to it comes within. You gotta have that that mindset, that confidence. Because those folks always will tell you who you should be or who you need to be, as opposed to you should know who you want to be. And when you have that understanding of yourself and of the, you know, the things that you're, in, you know, you're trying to endure, especially the craft that I was trying to enter into that industry, trying to break down those barriers because all coaches like the big guards, big guards, and how I had to impact the game. And it had to be a little different than what little or smaller players normally do in the game. And that position called for leadership, uh, understanding how to make guys around you better, uh, being an extension of the coach, being effective on both ends of or the floor and being a disruptive on defense allowed me to as well to not be looked upon and be taken advantage of my size because the information that I had and I have obtained in my head in terms of how to play against bigger players allowed me to, you know, to climb the highest ladder, which was the NBA. If you want to learn more about how to turn your weaknesses into superpowers like Muggsy Bose did, click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation I have with this NBA superstar.